As expected, the phone has been ringing off the hook for Kyle O'Quinn. 283 text messages and counting. So many that O'Quinn had to get a second phone. That's what happens when you get drafted 49th overall by the Orlando Magic, ending a long and at times stressful journey. It was nerve-wracking. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a long night. I mean, you see the pigs go slowly, 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 slowly. And to finally hear my name called at the end, it was it's just, whew, it's like everything you waited for was like, all right, it was well worth it then. The six foot nine inch O'Quinn worked out for 20 NBA teams, but not the Orlando Magic. He says being picked 49th overall is significant to Norfolk State University. I mean, number 49 is kind of like, kind of represents like Norfolk State. This is your opportunity. What you going to do? O'Quinn says all he wanted to do was see his parents' reaction on draft night to make them proud. This coming from a kid who rarely played his junior year in high school and only had one scholarship offer after his senior season. No pressure in the basketball area. You got to think. I'm the most realistic kid ever. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here. Played one year high school basketball. I went to Norfolk State University. I'm not supposed to be here. O'Quinn is a late bloomer who earned everything every step of the way. He will leave for Orlando Sunday with modest expectations for his professional career. No goals, no expectations. I mean, real, real low. I mean, get in and stay in. That's my biggest thing right now. Get in, learn what you can. I'm starting at the bottom. In Portsmouth, Chris Reckling for the Sports Wrap.